Hello students, welcome to the second part of Guilford's theory. Till now we have studied operations and contents. In this video we will study products. What are products according to Guilford's theory? Products are the result of operating on the contents. It is, it is what is it? This is a thought that this is the end product. We are applying operations on contents so that we can get the product, we can get the end result consequence result that is product they are the bits of knowledge we acquire after processing the environmental stimuli they refer to the form of thought produced by individual thought result and result this is product and we come up with units class relation system transformation implication now what is unit unit is it's isolated bits of information any letter any word any alphabet like a any word that is man and any sentence that, but they are isolated unrelated to each other this is what we mean by unit is unit of information any word any letter any sentence that is unrelated that is isolated bits of information is unit next is class class what is the class it is production of a concept Units of information. When you uh, when you when you think about these units, then they form a concept. Some items uh, that are related to each other, they become a concept. Some attributes, some th that uh, that share some common attributes. Some objects that share some common attributes, some common characteristics, they become a concept. You say man, one unit. Woman, one unit. Man plus woman. They come into they come to the category of human being. They are humans. Okay, the people. You say car, one unit. Then you say bus, one unit, isolated. But car, bus, truck, bike, they come together. They form a concept. They then it then it is called a class because they share some common attributes. That they 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 share some common attributes. So we say that. Uh, uh, they come under the concept of transport that they are the modes of transport they become a class now so this is class okay production of a concept here they are unrelated units they become class when they share some common attributes they come under the category of a concept they now they are they are called class then is relation relation is ability to use concept whatever you have studied here ability to use it is the connection between concepts connection between two concepts that is a relation when we are able to understand the relation between two concepts then uh, when we understand it then we say that we have understood the concept of relation date and day date 21st somebody ask you on 21st what which day falls on 21st so you know you have to understand these two concepts date and day you know the connection between these two and you say on 21st there will be a Friday so you understand day and date when you understand the connection between two concepts they become relation when you understand be between similarities when you understand why one thing is similar to, a, to this why one thing is dissimilar to this this is it means you have acquired the concept of relation analogies similarities dissimilarities associations when you are able to associate something we are referring to relation okay then comes system what is a system system is multiple relations multiple interrelated to form system to form structure to form network you have lots of information when there is a lots of information you know how to structure it you know how to become how to make a hierarchy how to prioritize your task how the things are related how there uh, there are multiple relations uh, like in our ecosystem like as a, like a school as a system when you understand that there are so many objects there are so many items and some people the how they are related to one another how they influence one another they become a system when you have understanding of this that system in system lots of items are there lots of objects are there and they are related to one another and they are they influence one another they have they form a hierarchy they form a structure then you say 
then we say that uh, we have understood the concept of a system okay then is transformation transformation is process it's a process of understanding like when you understand the changes in existing information changes in existing information there is information but when there is some change when there is some change if you are able to understand that change then is it means you have got an understanding of transformation when something is redefined when something is modified when something is changed from its existing form then this is transformation when you understand when you in simple words when you understand uh, jokes when you are able to understand new jokes when you are able to understand new puns this is what we mean by transformation when the letters of an uh, of a alphabet letters are reversed uh, when there, when a picture is rotated when a visual figure it is rotated but you understand it then it means you have got an understanding of transformation and last is implication implication is you are able to understand beyond the da data presented when you are able to uh, anticipate something when you are able to under when you are able to see the consequences of a particular incident when you are able to uh, predict something when you are able to infer when you understand the implied meaning of things it is Im it is called implication it is called implication on the basis of some traits on the basis of some observation you say that this person will behave like this this person will be like this you are anticipating something you are predicting something this is what we mean by implication so this was gilford's theory of intelligence he differs from spearman and thurston he gave us he gave us 180 abilities he gave us a structure of intellect he gave us a cubical three dimensional model of intel intelligence and his uh, abilities they were organized along three dimensions they were pro they were uh, operations they were contents and they were products hope you understand please study this theory carefully and do well in your studies thank you